Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need your mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need your mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need your mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need your mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
A blessed morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the first Friday of the month, and we commemorate the memorial of St. Charles Loanga and Companions Martyrs. In this Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Antonio Wang, SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the first of Friday. Uh, we also ask the sacred heart of Jesus to help us to uh, practice the love in the gospel. He asked Peter three times, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? So, of course, we say we love, but the love is not just only to say the word and also really to through the life to uh, practice the love. And also today we have the uh, martyrs of uh, Uganda, uh, St. Charles Luanga, and his companions through their martyrdom to show their love to God. So maybe we can through this, must ask Jesus to strengthen our faith that us can really do through our deeds to practice the love. He showed us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, in my words, words in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christian, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by Saint Charles Luanga 
and his companions may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought the charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surprising is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions for us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. We honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. Reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eat, eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of, son of John, do you love me more than this? Simon Peter answered him, 
Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to them, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, today is uh, first Friday, and also two days after it will be the Pentecost. Uh, so before uh, the Pentecost, before the Holy Spirit come to us, Jesus asked uh, Peter uh, three times, "Do you love me?" Of course, we know Peter; he loved Jesus, but he was distressed. Jesus asked him three times, as we know, he was denied Jesus three times, but. Not just only say, Lord, you know that I love you. And also after that, we know he really gave up his life for love of Jesus. Of course, Jesus also showed the love to them first, gave up himself. We know, uh, especially the, uh, every Friday, first Friday, Jesus asks us always to learn, asks us to learn from him. I have a humble and meek of heart. I showed my love and also asked us to love one another like he loved us, how he loved us as God, the high level, than to be a human being, the low level, and also suffered, died on the cross. He told us the greatest love is to lay down your life for your friend. Or we are not even not, we are not, even not his friend, but he laid down his life for the salvation of the human being, and also to be a human being, suffered, died on the cross. So he showed us the greatest love, or whatever we do, we cannot repay his love he showed us. But we can do our best, we can do our part, we can do our way to prepare ourselves to practice the love he showed us. Especially today we have also the martyrs, we know, in many places in the early church, uh, all the times there's a martyrs. We say from the beginning of the church, the, the apostles and early church uh, martyrs, and also until now, even now a time also still many uh, martyrs, they give up their life for the love of God. They have the strong faith, they have the certain hope. They know after the death, they will have the kingdom of God. That's why they can eat. Not so easily to say yes, but they already prepared. They, they have the certain hope of after death, I will go into the kingdom of God. Unless, oh, I want to go to the kingdom of God, but we, no one wants to face the death, the difficulties, the problems. But the martyrs, they through the suffering, through the death, they show their love. They practice the love. Not just only to say I believe, not only to say I love you. But through their life, they give up their life. Everything they give up, they know it's worthy to earn the kingdom of God. So that's why they can give up their life. We say in the early church, the disciples, they were afraid before. Then later when they received the Holy Spirit, they were totally changed. They don't afraid anything. They know what they are doing. They know where they are going. 
after they receive the Holy Spirit. So every year we have also this uh, special little G. So after we receive the Holy Spirit, how we practice the love Jesus showed us. And also it's a time to not only Jesus ask uh, Peter in the gospel, and also at the same time ask us, do you love me? So how we answer Jesus? We, of course, we say we want to say we love you. I love you. But how we, through our deeds to love, not only the lips, not only the mouth, it's really to through our deeds, our daily life, to practice the love he showed us. He want everyone to be love one another like he loved us. So lay down his life for the others. Not say lay down our life for the others. Maybe do something little by little. Even we cannot really lay down our life. But at least uh, try to do something to practice the love Jesus showed us. So maybe we can through the, the gospel, the reading, we can a little reflect ourselves, check ourselves. We ask the martyrs to pray for us. And also through their martyrdom, let us, let us can be inspired to follow their uh, steps to, towards to the kingdom of God. Let us can really to throw the rest of life. Let our mind can open. Let the Holy Spirit to come to guide us. Let us can really to practice the love Jesus showed us. Amen. Please arise. We pray to you, Father that your Holy Spirit might enkindle, kindle our hearts to love you, join us into the fullness of love with humility and trust. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, may God grant peace for all countries and unity among nations. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the shepherds of the church, that they may deepen their love for the Lord by taking care and guarding the flock entrusted to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the love of the Lord may inspire our newly elected government officials to initiate programs that protect the rights and dignity of the human person, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Peter, we may rise from our weaknesses and failures and rely on the grace of the Lord more than on, more than on our personal capacities and strengths. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, including Sister Perlita, Elizabeth, and Purita, who suffer may be freed from their physical or psychological infirmities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead, including Sister Anita Marquez, mother of Reverend Father Jerome Marquez, SVD, may find eternal joy in the sacred heart of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community our, and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, listen to the prayers of your flock. May these petitions give us strength to overcome all of weaknesses through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that, as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty the eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Charles Luanga, and his companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, show forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfected your power, and on the feeble bestowed strength to bear your, your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Hanggang 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that it held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the foolish of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Cardinal de Bencula, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Anita Marquez, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Mary Liu and uh, Ria Sanchez, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into your light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially here in front of you. And also during this Mass, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her Moses, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. Jude Deus, with Anno de Ansen, Joseph Fernandez, Pedro Calonso, Espiritu Martius, Blessed Maria Helena and Josefa, Chinese Martius, the 14 Holy Helpers, and also today's Charles uh, and also the companions with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us of each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with, with you. you.
living God, by the way of the Father and the Lord, Holy Spirit, you rescue me right the world. Bring me by this most holy body and the blood from my senses from every evil, keep me holy, speak to me, and never let me depart from you. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He is always among us, always taking care of us. He is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes with the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. How precious is in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Please all kneel as we pray the prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with the lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which, God, which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayers. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this act of perfect resignation to the decrease of your adorable heart which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity to those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Turn the hearts of your people always to you, O Lord, we pray, unless you give them the help of such great patrons as these. Grant also the unfailing help of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us proceed in novena, continue to ask God's healing and protection. Please all kneel. Please turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 23, the epistle of St. Jude, verse 10. But this man deride whatever they do not know, and the things they know by instinct, like the dumb beast, become for them a source of destruction. O Lord Jesus, let me know myself, let me know you, and desire nothing but you alone. Let me hate myself and love you, and do all things for the sake of you. Let me humble myself and exalt you, and think of nothing but you alone. Let me die to myself and live in you, 
and take whatever happens as coming from you. Let me forsake myself and walk after you and ever desire to follow you. Let me flee from myself and turn to you, that thus I may merit to be defended by you. Let me fear for myself and let me fear you and be among those who are chosen by you. Let me distrust myself and trust in you and ever obey for the love of you. Let me cleave to nothing but only to you and ever be poor for the sake of you. Look upon me that I may love you. Call me that I may see you and forever possess you. Amen. O most holy Virgin Mary, who did bear Jesus our Savior and did shed the everlasting light upon the world, O Mother of divine knowledge, whose merciful intercession has procured the grace of increasing in knowledge and piety for countless minds that were rude and ignorant, I choose you as the guide and patroness of my studies. By your intercession, O Mother of fruitful studies, May the Holy Spirit fill my spirit with light and fortitude, prudence and humility. May he give me goodwill, intelligence, memory and ability in sufficient measure and above all a spirit of docility, both in mind and heart, that I may proceed in all things according to the counsel of divine wisdom. Defend me, good mother, against the spirit of pride and presumption of vain curiosity and instability. Keep me from every occasion of stumbling, from all erroneous opinion, and from all things that might corrupt my faith and disturb the clearness of my understanding, the purity of my heart, and the peace of my soul. Grant, O Mary, that under your protection I may ever be submissive to the directions and teachings of the Holy Church, my mother, and may advance in the way of truth and the virtue surely, courageously that, and without wavering. And lens may I attend to the knowledge, the love, and the everlasting possession of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 37. Altogether, Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle St. Jude Tadeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces He has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayers. Let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid that I may praise the mercies of God all my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. St. Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. St. Jude, help the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we may expiate all our sins and by, by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, St. Jude Tadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the Church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities tribulations and sufferings, particularly. We also pray for the following intentions, for God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School, 
for more vocations to the priestly and religious life, for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you, a special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us and for all who invoke you aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Tadeus, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor you and trust in you. You are a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with your powerful intercession, for you have received from God the privilege to assist with your manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us and for all who invoke you aid. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore you here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship your sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored your divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We pray the Oracho Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. 
grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. The 14 Holy Helpers, pray for us. St. Jude Tadeus, pray for us. We pray the prayer of St. Gertrude, prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. And together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron of hope, St. Jude Tadeus, we all pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. have given them bread from heaven, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memory of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be, be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting help to those who believe. Hear our prayers for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of His holy Apostle, Jude Tadeus, and all His saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles. Please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and your love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God, Almighty Father, that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord, in His love and mercy, cherish and reinforce with His blessings the tokens of your devotion and piety, so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody, and you may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.